hi, hello there, hi, 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 hi. Yeah, hey. Like, what the f what am I doing? There's avocado all over me. This is... That's what all the models are doing these days, you know. Avocado hair mask check. Hello, fine people of the internet. Um, first of all, you're probably thinking, this is a very interesting setup that Millie has got going on here. That is correct. I am currently sitting in a lawn chair in the middle of my living room because what better things do I have to do with my life? Um, also, you probably thought in my last video, wow, this chick couldn't get more crusty. Um, listen, you know, in my first video, when I said, you know, my self-esteem is in the complete and utter gutter, it could not get any lower. That was the biggest lie I've ever told because it has stooped even lower. So didn't think that was possible, but clearly I'm learning some new things about myself. So that's really, we love that. It snowed here this morning. So, um, yeah, honestly, when it's May 9th and it is legitimately blizzarding outside, I honestly question the purpose of life. I mean, why do we live in this country? You would think, oh my gosh, like, wow, that's so weird. What a fluke. This is not a fluke. This shit happens every single year. It be snowing in mid-July here. You know that saying where they're like, you know what, I'll get it for you if it snows in July? Literally move to Canada. You'll get anything you want. Um, clearly the snow is enraging me, if you can't tell. Um, this morning I had a full-on mental breakdown. I don't know what hit me. The depression hit me like a brick wall. And I think it was due to the fact that there was a literal polar vortex occurring outside my window. So, anyway, you know, enough about that. So, listen. Since I've just been feeling uh, the absolute lowest of lows about my self-esteem, I figured what better way to lift my spirits than to do a little quarantine glow up. I've been seeing a lot of people on the internet doing little quarantine glow up situations. And um, you know, it looked fun. They're doing a lot of face masks, hair masks, eye masks, just bathing in self tanner, um, you know, usually like washing their hair. So I thought that I would do the same. However, that's not really fun for you to watch, is it? Just me put on a face mask. I mean, anyone can do that. So I thought, let's spice this up a little bit. Let's make this take a little bit longer so that I can drag this process out a bit more to, you know, allow me a little bit less time to cry about the current situation of the world this evening. So I figured that I'm going to hand make a face mask, an eye mask, a hair mask, and an exfoliator from items that I can find in my kitchen. So if the skin was not breaking out before, my God, just wait until I rub some avocado on it. Okay, so I got some items and I went on the internet to find what I could whip up with these items. So let me tell you what we're going to be making today. First thing we're gonna be making here today is, guys, what happens if I like, I don't know, create something that like lights on fire, who knows? Okay, we're gonna be making a green tea sugar scrub exfoliator. It says it may benefit your skin in several ways. They do not list the ways that it will benefit your skin, likely because it probably isn't going to, but uh, it's fine. For the eye masks, um, listen, the bags, actually you can't really tell on this, like eh, maybe if you go like this. 
the bags be black okay the bags are large and in charge on this face i can tell you so i decided to look up a type of eye mask that would deal with these savage literal punch looking marks under my face so Okay, um, so I'm gonna be doing a milk and baking soda ma eye mask. Apparently, it the milk is used to aid in alleviating tired eyes, while the baking soda is used to help eyes look healthy and smooth. We all know I need that. Face mask, we're gonna be doing a Coco Dream Hydration Mask. Um, so apparently, this is the one with avocado likely going to make me break out savagely but it says avocado is extremely hydrating cocoa is an excellent skin soothing antioxidant and honey is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory all the great things um so let's see if that works so we're going to be doing that okay so hair mask this is one for curly hair so it says avocado honey and oil infuse hair with much needed moisture. And apparently the coconut in it helps hydrate as well as detangle. We all know that this rat's nest needs that. Okay, great. So I think that we might be ready to move into the kitchen and start whipping up some of these concoctions. All right, let's do it. Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. So, um, let us whip up these concoctions. Let's do our science experiment here. Okay, so I've got the laptop. Um, put this over here so it's not distracting you. You see me? This is how I've been sitting at my desk since quarantine. I'm literally sitting in the corner of my bedroom. The lawn chair is my office chair and I'm becoming more of a witch every single day. So first things first, let's make the green tea sugar, sc sugar scrub exfoliator. Okay, so it says ingredients, two tea bags of green tea, half a cup of hot water, one cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of coconut oil melted. Oh my God, that's so annoying. I was legitimately sitting at the grocery store being like, should I get the solid form of coconut oil or should I get the one in the liquid form? And I was like, no, this is a wholesome science experiment. And it seems that hippie wholesome types would have the solid version not this half-assed liquid coconut version. And it turns out I should have gone with my high maintenance gut and got the liquid version. So, sick. milk and baking soda. I don't know how this is going to help me whatsoever, but anyway, you will simply blend four tablespoons of milk and two tablespoons of baking soda together to create your mask, which will have a creamy consistency. Then you will refrigerate to cool before putting on your eyes. Allow the mask to sit on skin for around 20 minutes while it burns your face off. I'm kidding. I just made up that last part, but absolutely revolting oh my goodness next item on the agenda 
the DIY face mask. Woo! Okay, so mash one quarter of an avocado into a small bowl. Stir in one tablespoon of cocoa powder and one tablespoon of honey. Mashing and mixing well. That does not seem too difficult. large avocado, two tablespoons of coconut avocado or olive oil. I guess I'll use the coconut oil, coconut milk. Oh, I did get that. Listen guys, so I got this Thai kitchen coconut milk. I legitimately make curry with this. So I'm not really sure if that's what they were talking about when they said coconut milk, but shower the echoing is absolutely horrible so I apologize for that in advance the lighting is also terrible my face looks you know like a tomato and I haven't even rubbed anything on it yet and um I would also like to address the trailer park shirt that I'm wearing I know I know the nails plus the shirt legitimately look like I live in a 1950s trailer, but you know what? I can't be getting the guacamole all over a nice shirt. So that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so I guess first thing, let's start. I think the hair mask was the thing that needed to stay in the longest. So I think the easiest way to do this would be to maybe wet my hair and then put the mask in it. I think it's easier if it's wet, right? Like, I don't even know. All right, so here's the final product of the guacamole that's gonna be going in my hair. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know how to go about this. This is utterly repulsive. Okay, well, I guess let's just start with the top. some type of um, hair cap over your hair while the avocado just, you know, soaks to the root. However, I do not have one of those. So grocery bag it is. Okay, onto the face mask. So again, recall this is the avocado brownie that we are going to be completely rubbing all over our face. Um, God, if this doesn't make me break out, I don't know what will, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. So the face mask is legitimately burning my face off, so we're going to remove this real quick. So that face mask was quite possibly the worst idea I've ever had in my life. Um, it started burning my face off after like three seconds. I can already feel the, the pimples rising. I feel greasier than a 13 year old teenager right now. Would not recommend at home. I'm also completely soaked from trying to wash it off in the shower. 
So I guess that brings us on to the next phase, the body exfoliator. Um, listen, after that face mask, ex mask experience, I'm not about to rub this um, at-home exfoliator all over my body. So I'm just going to do my legs and maybe my arms, right? So you know what? While we're here and talking about the absolute failure of this, I think that maybe we should talk about some other of my spa failures. Listen, I'm not much of a, an eyebrow doer. I am fortunate enough to have very fair skin and hair. If it was up to me, I would never ever pluck my eyebrows. And that is how it is now. However, this was not always the case. When I was younger, my mom used to think of me as, um, what am I gonna say, her human doll. And she liked to try out various beauty experiments on me. One of the major things that she used to like to do was experiment with my eyebrows. So she went through a phase where she was insistent that I get my eyebrows done. I'm not really sure why, because like they're literally completely fine. Like they don't even, I don't know, anyway. She went through a phase where she wanted to have my eyebrows done and she thought that she was the right person to be doing this. And I'm going to preface this story with, my mother is not a beauty guru. Um, she does not work. She's not an esthetician. Nope. She just, she's self-taught. There you go. Anyway, so she thought that, um, you know, I was, I was going into grade nine. So I was 13 and she thought, you know, maybe she's a bit young to be going and getting her eyebrows back, waxed. So thanks mom. So she decided that she was going to shave my eyebrows. Number one beauty rule, don't bring a razor anywhere near your face unless you're a man and you're shaving your mustache, okay? So she gets this like at home shaver thing for your eyebrows. Now, let me tell you, me entering grade nine was not a situation. It was a rough time for me. Um, I had just had jaw surgery so my face was yellow and blue and it looked like i had a massive growth coming out of the side of my face so there's that i then um contracted swine flu so that's awesome contracted swine flu because i was on antibiotics for the jaw surgery so um immune system was non-existent at that point so contracted the little h1n1 there so that was fun um, and then my mom decided that, you know, um, instead of the double whammy, let's just go full home run and let's shave off half my daughter's eyebrow. When I say she shaved off half my eyebrow, I mean she shaved off half my damn eyebrow. So I entered grade nine, new school, knew absolutely no one, had one friend there who was in none of my classes. I had a fat face, had just lost 20 pounds from the swine flu and had half an eyebrow on my face. Hello, folks of the internet. I suppose it's time to wash all this stuff off. I'm honestly scared to see what's under this hair mask situation right now. Should we take the hair mask off? I think, yeah. That's nice. We love that for us. What in God's name have I done? My hair? is <sighs> guys i mean i'm looking worse than i've ever looked before look at this <sighs> oh i don't know why i thought this was gonna make me feel better about myself <sighs> oh. 
listen, we're gonna have to wrap it up here. I'm gonna have to go shampoo my hair about 17 times to get this out. Um, I've never felt more like a wet, cold, disgusting dog in my life. Um, I was doing this to lift my spirits from the gutter and I have quite literally never looked more like a drowned rat in my entire life. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say that this was a failure of epic proportions. I'm going to go shower and, um, yeah, really reconsider my life, recontemplate this situation because... I clearly need to do some thinking here. This is not... We might need to buy a real hair mask to be able to fix this. Okay, so everyone, I guess thanks for watching this complete and utter failure. This was the absolute biggest shit show in the entire world. Um, would not recommend any of this at home. I'm not going to leave the link or des uh, description page, whatever, to any of these recipes because truly not worth it. If you're looking to feel better about yourself, this is not the way do not recommend. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Bye now.